Hey, what is going on Atomic TV? How are y'all doing today? My name is iMuff and welcome to my room. <laughs> so, uh, I figured for my first video I would do kind of a vlog intro so you guys could see me, kind of get to connect with me a little bit more, and I can show you guys my little setup here as well, and uh, go from there I can tell you guys, you know, what my plans are for, uh, for you guys and so forth. So let's go ahead and get started with my setup. So here we have the beast. You know, that is uh, simply what this thing is called. So take notice, my desk comes up to about my hip. That computer is about, I don't know, four and a half, five inches shorter than my desk. It is a monster. It, the case is just huge. Um, I'll leave all the specs in the uh, the description below so you guys can see that I'm not kidding, <laughs> you know. Um, but going over all the specs would just be a little bit too long. Probably, you know, wouldn't make for a good video. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave that in the, the, uh, the description so you guys can check it out there. So other than the, com other than the computer, excuse me. <laughs> so here we have a 1.5 terabyte external hard drive that is pretty much what I use to record all of my stuff I do have a one point or I have a one terabyte um, Western Digital hard drive in my computer along with an SSD uh, that I keep all of my apps on and everything so that I can basically have my computer run as fast as it possibly can so here my headset I have the Astro A40s these things are amazing um, very expensive but they are worth it if you have the money. They are the most comfortable headset I've ever had, and I've had a lot of headsets. I've had pretty much every Turtle Beach that has been made. I've had a lot of Tritons, and these definitely take the cake. They are amazing. So right now I'm just running off of a uh, kind of a two-monitor setup. It's not really a monitor. I have a TV and uh, a single monitor. Tomorrow I plan on going over to uh, Best Buy and getting another monitor and um, do a, a dual monitor setup. And I'll probably get a desk as well. I'd like to have a desk that kind of wraps around the corner, kind of an L shape. And I'll probably move my computer over to uh, this side over here. That way it's on top of my vent and it can get some nice uh, cold air, you know, which is always good for a computer. And uh, that way I can have my two monitors over on this side of a desk and just have my TV right there instead of having everything kind of in a big clusterfuck right there pretty much. So... Pretty much what I use to record my voice is the Blue Snowball. I have a pop filter on there, and a pop filter is amazing. If you guys don't have a pop filter, it is one of the best investments I have ever made. <laughs> you know, as far as computer, or as far as recording, you know, everything goes. You can pick one up at Best Buy for like, I don't know, I think I got mine for like 12 bucks or something like that. They're not expensive at all, and um, it definitely helps with all your... Uh, your P's and your S's and your T's and things like that. It just helps it sound a lot smoother and all that good stuff. Um, as far as my keyboard and everything, you know, I just have a, a gateway keyboard and mouse. Probably within the next few weeks, I will upgrade that to some Razer stuff. For what I use to game, when I do Call of Duty, I have a scuff controller. Got some uh, blacked out buttons. I have a domed thumbstick. A domed thumbstick is amazing. Because um, when you do uh, Amy, you want those price, little, those price, <laughs> no, you want those precise little movements, and you don't want to have like, I don't know, just you want your aiming to be more precise is what I'm trying to get with here. So it's also got trigger stops, and that basically allows it eliminates the trigger pull that you have to do with a normal Xbox controller, which is nice. It's also got buttons on the back so that you can uh, root. Uh, pretty much anything you know when you go to buy the controller you can get those two buttons rooted to whatever you want right now I have them rooted to a and B so I play on tactical on Call of Duty and I use that for my jump and knife so I never have to take my thumbs off of my thumbsticks which is awesome um, down here I just have a normal Xbox controller uh, that's pretty much what I use for everything other than Call of Duty because my scuff controller is not compatible with anything else it, it's only compatible for like your first person shooter games so your Call of Duty, your Battlefield, things like that um, here I just have a Xbox, it is awesome and probably here before too long, probably before Christmas I will get a PlayStation 3 because there are a few games 
that are PS3 exclusives that um, I'm definitely looking forward to. Um, I think The Last of Us, um, kind of a post-apocalyptic kind of game, definitely will probably be getting that. It looks awesome. Um, here I just have a normal laptop. That's what I do whenever I don't want to game. That's kind of my you know, surf the internet kind of thing. Um, and then down here, you probably can't see it. Uh, you can kind of see it. I have HD PVR. That is what I use to record all of my gameplays. Eventually, I'm going to upgrade to an Ava Media. Um, it's an internal graphics, or not graphics, um, recording card, pretty much. And uh, it allows you to record in full 1080p instead of the uh, 720p that the, uh, the HD PVR allows you to do. So that's nice. Um, hopefully, it'll be a little better for uh, live streaming as well. With the, uh, the HD PVR, people, you know, if you've ever live streamed before, you know that there is about a one to one and a half second delay um, on what you're seeing. So hopefully, having an internal card that your your HD your HDMI cable goes right into, right into your monitor and everything, um, it's going to help it run a lot smoother as far as live streaming goes. And here I have my comfortable chair. I love this chair. It is amazing. And that's pretty much it as far as my setup goes. So as far as what I'm going to be doing on ATV, plan on seeing quite a bit of Call of Duty. Um, I love Call of Duty. I've been playing it since Call of Duty 3. And it is by far one of my favorite games. So even though it's kind of over, kind of uploaded and recorded and everything onto YouTube, I love to play it. So I'm going to record it. I'm going to upload it. And... I'll try and do some interesting series for you guys so that you guys can have some fun watching something different. You know, it's still the same game, but I'm going to make it different for you guys. I promise. So, other than that, expect to see some Minecraft as well. And tomorrow I plan on picking up uh, on Steam. I plan on getting Daisy. I plan on getting all the uh, armor 2 and everything and getting the mod for it. So plan on seeing a lot of Daisy as well. Um, I've watched a lot of it on YouTube, and it's something that I really, really want to play. So I'm going to get it. Hopefully you guys enjoy watching that as well. And that's pretty much it, guys. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this little vlog, and um, hope you guys enjoyed my sexy face. <laughs> so that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys enjoyed, hit that like button below. Also leave a comment in the description below. Not in the description. What am I saying? What am I saying? In the comment section below. Leave a comment. Let me know how I can improve and so forth and so forth. So I hope you guys all enjoyed. Peace out, guys.